Hello, in this video tutorial I will demonstrate you how we can enter a foundation. In the first step we will deactivate the grid and the line width for a better overview. Before we create our foundation we have to add a new floor below the ground floor. Therefore we make a right mouse click on building and we select new floor below. The floor properties open and in the first step we will change the name of the floor, for example to foundation. Now we enter for the rough height, for example 1 meter and after it we click on transfer. Here at objects we select none and we confirm with OK. The new floor was successfully created and now we start to enter the foundation. We will enter the foundation centered based on the axis of the walls of our model home. Before we start to enter the foundation we will create a guideline grid to define the center of the desired walls. Therefore we select 2D in layout, 2D guidelines, guideline and centered guideline. We quickly check the color of the guideline therefore we press the right mouse button and we select properties. We click on appearance, the guideline color is already green and we confirm with OK and OK. We start with the first guideline. This is the first point, now we press CTRL to use the angular grid for a 100% vertical line and this is the second point. The next guideline, this is the first point. We press CTRL again and that's the second point. Because the entry of the rest of the guidelines works exactly the same way, we make a fast forward on this step. The guideline grid is created and now we select the 3D view and we deselect the ground floor. Now we have a good overview for the entry of our foundation. We select the 2D view again. We click on building, foundations, strip foundations and between two points chain. Before we enter the foundation we define the properties, therefore we press the right mouse button and select properties. The foundation properties open. First we change the thickness to 0.60 meters. 0.60 meters because the width of our foundation has to be twice as thick as the external walls of our building. We change also the height to 1 meter. 0 meters for the level is OK and we click on layer construction. Here we click at the point material we click on 2D display, for the fill style we select monochrome and for the color, for example, gray. We confirm with OK and OK and OK. Now we start to enter the foundation of the external walls. We select the first point that's the first point. 
This is the second point. The third point. The fourth. The fifth. The sixth. And the seventh and last point. Afterwards we press escape. In the next step, we also enter a foundation for the supporting inner walls. Therefore, we select again Foundation, Strip Foundations and Between Two Points Chain. We define the properties again, right mouse click Properties. Here we change the thickness to 0 0.50 meters. The reason therefore, the thickness of the supporting inner walls is 0 0.25 meters. The height and the level are already correct defined and we can click on layer construction. We select again the material, 2D display, for the fill style monochrome and for the color, grey again. We confirm with OK, OK and OK. We start with the entry. That's the first point. That's the second, third and fourth and last point. Escape. The next start point is here. Second point. Third point. Escape. First point. Second and last, escape. First point. Second point, escape. And the last wall, first point. Second point, escape. The foundation is created and in the next step we will add a bottom plate. Therefore we select again Foundation, bottom plate and insert with polygon. We define the properties first, right mouse click and we select properties. The properties open and we can see that the level is already defined with 0 meters. That's correct and for the thickness we enter for example 0 0.4. We click on layer construction. The color is already defined in grey. In our example that's correct and we can confirm with OK. Now we enter the bottom plate. This is the first point the second, the third point, the fourth point, the fifth and the sixth and last point. We press the right mouse button and we select complete. We press escape and we can see now that the bottom plate was successfully created. Now we select the 3D view and we take a short look at our foundation. If you have to make any changes on the bottom plate afterwards, for example changing the level, you can select it with a left mouse click, press the right mouse button and select Properties. Here in the properties we can also afterwards change the level, the thickness or for example the material. We confirm with OK. We press escape and we select the 2D view again. In the end we will create now a section view. Therefore we select view and new section view. We select the start point for the section view here. 
Now we press again CTRL for a 100% horizontal line. This is the second point. And the third point is here. The section view opens automatically. We maximize it. And now we press the shortcut position 1 or home for the function show all. Now we deactivate the layer environment. And finally we remove the hidden lines. Therefore we make a right mouse click and select properties. We select hidden line removal and we confirm with OK. Now we can take a look at our finish defined foundation in the section view. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials visit our website catvilla.com